Hello everybody and welcome to another Top 5 Records video and today I'm gonna be talking about the 5 best albums from 1979 and that is pretty difficult because you almost see in every decade that the last year of the decade artists put out some of their best work ever I mean it's continuous you also see that with movies like the last year of a decade people just start pushing stuff and it's so there's so much good stuff coming out so many great records from 1979 so some of the most amazing albums will be missing but then again then they might not be as good as the ones in this top five so i'm gonna kick it off and at number five spot i actually have my favorite frank zappa album joe's garage which is a masterpiece and um uh beautiful beautiful release beautiful sounding album uh, also and i think this is a masterpiece because um the storytelling is great and you notice that frank zappa is very um very much working on this story um for, for example the song joe's garage which has this three chord structure he's singing about the first three chord song a band can play and 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 the potential hit you can make with that um he has so much fun doing that. There's so much fun on this album. The first song, the central scrutinizer. I mean, the way it sounds is so gorgeous. It's, it's, this, it's this audiophile exploration of, of songs. And it's all very... Um, so, uh, these songs are so catchy. I mean, they, they might contain the catchiest uh, Frank Zappa songs. Crew Slut, Catholic Girls, um, Why Does It Hurt When I Pee. I really, really love this album. It's so good. So, so good. On the number five, Frank Zappa's Joe's Garage. And if you enjoy it, Frank's Garage. Act two and three, also from 1979, are also great as well. They are also awesome. Try to find those as well. Ooh, what have we got here? Joy Division. Unknown Pleasures. And this album... Ooh, Joy Division is a very fascinating band. They did things to sound that that it's 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 way out there. Especially at that moment in time, there, there was this dark atmospheric attitude to it. Ian Curtis is such a strange but incredible frontman. The way he sings, the way he somewhat insinuates what he's trying to say. There's so much subtext going on. Um, and it's dark, it's atmospheric. Um, if you go out to try and find it, um, try to get the textured version. Because I have, you can feel, you feel, you feel that there, there is a textured version. This is the first Dutch pressing, so not the first UK pressing. But the first Dutch pressing already sounds amazing. This, this, this is uh, audiophile stuff, man. She lost control, disorder. So many good songs on here. Oh, really, really love this. And um, I recently also did a video with uh, the other Joy of Vision album in the top five best uh, scary albums for Halloween. So now I'm doing commercial for other videos on my channel. But if you are a Joy of Vision fan, I'm, I can't do a, a top five best Joy of Vision albums because it's not it's not gonna work you know uh, they made two studio albums it's, it's, it's not gonna work but if you want to hear more about it so there you have it i just i just marked it another of my videos sorry i don't want to do that on number three spot in an amazing year 1979 i'm so happy to have found this acdc highway to hell now i had a pressing of this album this reissue and i just couldn't get into it i thought i love the song how the hell it just doesn't BAM! You know, it just doesn't knock me down. Now, I found this first German pressing, and it's a killer, man. This is a killer. Oh, it is so, so good. There is so much rough power in there. It's such an energizing, strong, punch in your face. And I mean, this album kicks off with the song How to Hell, and it just goes on and on and on. Girls got rhythm. If you want blood, you got it, Night Prowler. Ah, oh, this is one of the 
best, most exciting albums in the world of hard rock and a highway to hell. I mean, I think this is the best ACDC album. They made loads of other great albums. I might do a top five video on that in the future. This, just such a beautiful punch in the face and what an album. Might have been in the number top spot in any other year. But then again, 1979 is not any other year because what I have here, also a rare, rare, rare gem. The Clash, London Calling. And what an amazing record is this. I mean, just good song after good song after good song after good song. And it's an interesting album also for its content because The Clash started to notice that punk might not be an everlasting genre for them as a band to continue working in. Dave Bowie made this quote in I believe 1976 or 1977. Uh, he said there will not be a great album uh, made out of punk because it's just, um, and that's what I believe he meant, too monotone. Which I, I mean, obviously uh, reality showed he was wrong because we have the Ramones album, we have the, De uh, the Dead Boys album, Loud Snotty, and uh, I'm, 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 I'm I forgot almost the Sex Pistols, the Dictators, Go Girl, uh, or Go Crazy. There are so, so many good punk albums. The Clash first album also. But then they started to develop and they started to look into different genres. They started to look into reggae. They, uh, um, and they developed themselves into some kind of new wave, in some, into some kind of post-punk. And you can hear that on London Calling, which is a genuine surprise. The first song... One and calling. It's, I mean, it's a rough kick in your guts. Beautiful, really good. And then you got brand new Cadillac. I believe that's a, a cover of this, this old 50s rock and roll uh, artist. Um, can't get the name. Jimmy Jazz, beautiful, hatful. Uh, and just the, the great songs just continue. The Guns of Brixton. Uh, so many good songs. Such a nice kicker of an album. This is one of those records that changed the music scene. One of the records that changed the music scene. 1979, London Calling on the number two spot. Now, what can I put on the number one? Pink Floyd's The Wall. Now, some people think that this is not the best Pink Floyd album. And it's tough to talk about what is the best Pink Floyd album because it's a band that has just been on a winning streak for about an almost an entire decade. The Wall is one of the most impressive rock operas ever. It tells a story, it has so many gorgeous melodies to it, it's way out there and there is not a single album in the world I have listened to so much so often played back to back as Pink Floyd's The Wall. As a matter of fact, it's hard to describe uh, how much I love this album. I've been to the live show by Roger Waters for three times, and it's mesmerizing. It's one of the most beautiful performances I, I, I ever saw. The film, uh, which was released three years later, from 1982, I think it's one of the best films ever, seriously. And, I, and I've seen about uh, 4,000 films. Uh, seriously, the film is also amazing. Everything about this album is amazing, and uh, there, it was made under, under under strange circumstances. There was a lot of uh, fights. There were a lot of fights going on. Um, Roger Waters fired Nick Mason, I believe, and uh, Richard Wright. Richard Wright then again was depressed. He was having a tough time. Everybody was having a tough time. Nevertheless, this epic is. I mean, there's so much surrounding it, but there's nothing in the world of music like it. It's a beautiful story. Great songs, great melodies, not a single bad song on there for two discs long. I mean, awesome. Oh yeah, and uh, before I end up this video, if you want to find the best version of this album, go ahead and look for the one that has TML in the Dead Wax. TML. I have it here, TML, T the Mastering Lab. Now. You can go for a UK pressing, but the UK final was very noisy at that time. 
So try and find a first US pressing and you look at the best sounding version. Then there are different versions of the UK pressing, of, of the US pressing. Um, I have compared them. You know what? I'm gonna do another video about that. I'm just gonna finish this off. <laughs> but go ahead, search for a TML pressing from the US and I'll continue more in a, the wall comparison video. That's it for today. Do you agree, do you disagree? Leave a comment below and I'll see you in another video.